Hello guys, we shall be discussing a new topic on adaptive controls and we will be discussing why do we need adaptive controls and what are the different types of adaptive controls. We often control the process making use of some controller and that controller is tuned. Assuming that we know the process or we have somehow guessed how the process is going to respond to the controller and once it is tuned we simply assume that the tuning parameters are not going to change with time because the process parameters are also not going to change with time but this doesn't happen practically for two reasons first the processes which we are normally modeling are actually non-linear in nature but we do some kind of piecewise linearization and we actually create some segments of the process. So as the process variable changes, the segments in which the process is operating that also changes and the whole model of the process changes and therefore the controller that also needs to be retuned every time the process shifts from one segment to another segment. Let us have a look how it happens. Now you see here we have a segment. This process up to this point was taken as a linear segment like this. And from here to here, it is taken as the second segment. It is a different model. From here to here, it's a third segment. We have a different model. And from here to here, it's a fourth segment. We have a different model. So let us suppose the process was earlier moving in this part of the curve. And the controller was tuned as per this response. But the moment process shifts from here to here the model also changes and the previous model is no longer valid therefore we have to retune this entire controller as per the new operating variable set over here. The second reason is that even if the system is linear there are many chemical processes which are non-stationary in nature. It means the characteristics they keep on changing. There are some examples. For example, you have catalyst activity that may change with temperature, that may change with time. We have overhaul heat transfer coefficient of heat exchanger that also may deteriorate due to what we call it as fouling. And for these reasons, the process parameters are likely to change and once the process parameters change the controller needs to be retuned doing this manually is sec next to impossible it's very very difficult that you keep on retuning the controller so it has to be done automatically and once it is done automatically we say that the controller is adapting to the changed environment and therefore these kind of controllers are known as adaptive controllers or have this strategy as adaptive control strategy or adaptive control guys we have a controller and we say how do we check the performance of the controller like how do we measure whether the controller is properly tuned or not there are number of ways for example you have you take integral of square of the errors and so on and so forth and you can therefore optimize it means you can minimize it one another way to see whether the controller is properly tuned or not is to see whether it is giving a one quarter decay ratio you know as you can see over here one quarter decay ratio means that when you change the set point the first oscillation which you see over here if this is a then the second oscillation peak which you see over here has to be a quarter of that 
this one has to be further a quarter of that means 1 16th of the original and so on and so forth if this is happening then we say the controller is good enough it is fast also it is not giving much oscillations also it's moving around the set point and we say it's performing to its best what happens suppose the controller doesn't give you one quarter decay ratio for some reason it has deteriorated it is not giving the quarter decay in that case we need to retune the controller now this can be done in two different ways the first way is called programmed or scheduled adaptive control the second one is called self adaptive control and in this video session we shall be dealing with the first part that is the programmed or scheduled adaptive control this is the block diagram generalized block diagram for programmed adaptive control system and if we see if we look at it very carefully we'll start from the beginning you have a set point and then we take a feedback from the process we generate error this error is given to the controller this controller is tuned either manually or automatically and this controller is giving the output which is in the form of manipulated variable it goes to the process and the process is giving the feedback so this is what we had been studying so far so this is one loop this is called inner loop now in addition to this inner loop we have one outer loop and in this outer loop what we are going to do is we are going to take some auxiliary measurement or auxiliary measurements and those measurements are going to determine the process whether this process is operating in the conditions for which the controller was tuned or these conditions have changed in case the conditions of this process they have changed then we have some kind of adjustment mechanism and this adjustment mechanism is programmed or this adjustment mechanism is scheduled in a manner that based on the auxiliary measurements which is uh, taken from the process these this this auxiliary measurement taken from the process or it may be set of measurements taken from the process it goes in this programmed manner or scheduled manner it's an adjustment mechanism which are going to give us the new values of controller parameters and these new values of control parameters they change the controller or they retune the controller so that this controller is always operating at the optimized value irrespective of the fact that the process parameters are changing so this is a kind of feed forward mechanism wherein in this feed forward also you have to have a proper knowledge of the process the transfer function of the process needs to be known all mathematical equations need to be known how the process is going to change how can you measure some number of auxiliary measurements to know the process and the process parameters and how you can make use of the same measurements to come to the new value of the controller parameters and the controller parameters they they will be retuning the controller but this requires a very thorough knowledge of the process and the adjustment mechanism can be programmed only if this process is very well known to us otherwise we cannot go in for this kind of programmed adaptive control system so uh, as we have said we have to have a very thorough knowledge of the process and we go in for the auxiliary measurements and we go in for the adaptation of the controller parameters based on the auxiliary variables we have two loops the inner loop and the outer loop and it is a kind of it is a type of feed forward compensation it is not feed forward control but it is feed forward compensation one of the example of programmed adaptive control is 
this type of ratio control wherein we are putting in some fuel to the burner and it is mixed with the air in such a manner that the amount of air which is going in has to have certain ratio of the fuel and the air. It means that the burner is going to burn. We have a certain ratio. Let us say the ratio is one part of fuel has to be mixed with 14 parts of air, for example. So if this one part becomes two parts, so this 14 becomes 28 and the ratio between fuel and the air, it always remains 1 is to 14 and that is supposed to be the optimized value for burner to have maximum efficiency. Guys, the issue is that this ratio 1 is to 14 is not fixed. It is fixed for a certain temperature of ambient air. Let us say it is fixed if the temperature is 30 degree. But if the temperature becomes 20 degree, then what? Then this ratio has to have more amount of fuel in it. Let us say it becomes 1 is to 13 or 1 is to 12 where fuel is more and air is less. Suppose the temperature becomes 20 degree. Then suppose the temperature becomes 10 degree. Then suppose the temperature becomes 0 degree or it goes to sub-zero conditions, accordingly the ratio will go on changing. The temperature can become 47 degree as it is mostly you know in summers in India. In that case also the ratio has to change. We neither want more fuel nor do we want more air than is required at that temperature. So how do you change this? We are going to have ratio control wherein this desired ratio needs to be changed as per the operating conditions and the operating condition is temperature of the air. So what we do is we measure the temperature of air. We go as per our old experimental data. We find what is the best possible desired ratio and we change the desired ratio over here and then we have a regular kind of control which is going to change the amount of air going in the burner to give maximum efficiency. So this is a kind of adaptive control. We say it is a ratio control but it's not a simple ratio control. It is a ratio control with programmed adaptive control where the entire process is very well known to us. We have experimental data and we feed in, we schedule it accordingly to get maximum efficiency. This is explained in step by step manner. How do we go in for adaptive control over here, which is a kind of feed forward control. So this was what we had seen. One example of programmed or scheduled adaptive control. We will be going in for the next type like in this next session we will be going in for self adaptive controls and uh, hope we will be able to connect in the next session we are leaving over here we will continue from this point onwards in the in the next video session so far in case you have any queries related to the adaptive controls you can contact me through any of the means and in case you have any doubts, in case you have any observations or you want to share something which you think can be the practical application of adaptive control in your day-to-day -day life, you can post me on that as well. Stay safe and enjoy learning. Thank you for being with me once again. Bye-bye. What happens? Suppose the controller doesn't